we're going to harvest some fiber yielding plants here and I'm just on the side of the road so I'm going to try to speak over airplanes and cars driving by but as you see here what we've got here is a milkweed pod and these are the seeds for next year's growth notice how fibrous and soft and fluffy fluffy the seeds are so that they can fly away in the wind and and, and go <clears throat> and uh, plant themselves elsewhere this would also make good uh, if you got enough of these these would make good insulation for your clothing in between layers uh, stuffed animals and especially important tinder bundles for making fire uh, especially as it's getting colder because it's uh, getting into fall here, or actually it's getting towards mid-fall, um, this would be very relevant. Um, so we just kind of help this disperse because we need more milkweed for monarch butterflies. So, um, But milkweed is a good fibrous plant, and you can tell now, you can see the pods. And I'm just going to harvest, I'm just going to clip a couple of these, a few of these, for the ones that are dry, they're going to die off. Here's the stock. There's a pod, that way I know it's milkweed. And we're just going to clip off some of these. Alright, now we've come to a very good corded yielding plant. And this is dogbane. And it is, uh, it's pretty much died off. And these are the seed pods. And that's how you can tell it. And so essentially the stock here which is what you want, should be about a golden color, or a reddish golden color. And there's a few, if you can recognize. Here's one here, and I can just tell by the top. After a while, you just get an eye for it, and you know it on the landscape. Even driving on the freeway, I can kind of look off and tell. I can see them about this time of the year in October, as they start to turn this golden brown color, which kind of lets us know that it's ready. It's the Applocinum cannabinum is the Latin name and it's a very good uh, cordage yielding plant uh, otherwise known as uh, native or Indian hemp um, and so we're going to harvest a few of these stocks here to make some uh, cordage. Here's a stalk that we just harvested. Again, when you're out harvesting grasses and, and stalks from the ground and things, it's a good idea to watch your eyes, maybe wear some eye protection because <clears throat> um, as you, you know, there's the different levels of sticks. You could get something in the eye, snapping back, or that's, that's, grow, you know, that's growing straight up. You don't want to get paled in the eye. So as a safety warning, you might want to wear some eyewear. Just go really slow, and it's important to go slow. Um, I like to give a silent thank you to every piece or uh, plant that I harvest or take from the environment as appreciation. Um, and also, I also uh, make sure that I distribute some of the seedlings, you know, or actually all of the seedlings. You know, I just go ahead and, and the seed pods that were on here, I just disperse in the area. So that um, they can plant themselves over the rest of the season and the winter into the spring and we'll have uh, another crop for uh, next year and for the other plants and animals. So essentially this is uh, dog bane stock. Uh, what you can do is what you do is you just kind of crush it between your fingers if I can. Kind of strong plant. And then break it apart. And so and what you do from this point on is crack it in half and then distribute and there's the fibers. So I can break this in half 
and pop it open, and there's fibers. This is what, you know, you kind of spend some time around the fire or watching television or whatever and uh, get your fiber. So as you can see, this is, this is really right from the ground up. At this point, it's ready to be twisted and worked into some sort of cordage. There would be more preparation to get it light and fluffy and to get the bark away from the uh, fibers. But essentially, that's pretty much it. And you do milkweed the same way and nettles more or less the same way. Nettle, nettles are best worked wet when you just harvest them. And then you dry the uh, fibers or the, the skin and then uh, work the skin from there. So essentially, here is uh, the harvest from this area. Uh, I didn't want to take too much, allow some for some decay and for seed pods to fall into the earth to start a new colony. Um, but on the left is uh, dog bane stalks, and on the right are the milkweed. And you know, I, you can actually you can take some of the fibers right away and use them for traveling if you need to bundle these up. So this is a pretty green um, milkweed stock, and I can just kind of pop it, you know, crush it, and strip some of the fibers from it and make a lashing real quick to bundle the uh, harvest up. And you can see, once I'm able to split it, and you can see that the fibers, the skin wants to come right off. Open that up. And I can just kind of break that in half and then extract what I need. And this will yield a little bit of some lashings to uh, bundle up the harvest, or cordage harvest for the year. And just break that down all the way. And for milkweed, hopefully this shows up for you, you can see the fibers in there. Dogbane is the best plant fiber uh, outside of actual hemp that you can get. And as far as natural fibers are concerned, uh, it's, it's really uh, second to sinew from uh, uh, hooved animals like deer, and buffalo, and elk, and goat, and, and other animals like that, cattle. So as a plant fiber, this is uh, milkweed is pretty good, nettles are pretty good, and dog is pretty good. And so you can hopefully see some of these fibers in the milkweed. Okay, I took another stock, and... Um, I'm going to make some lashing so I can just show you how to bundle these up right quick. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and do a fisherman's knot. And all that is is I take the length and I want to splice some longer uh, lengths together. So I'm going to make an uh, overhand knot or a granny knot like this. And then I'm going to take my other piece here and thread it through like this. And cinch it down. And I'm going to take this piece that I just threaded through and go around the standing end of the piece that had the loop and make a loop around it. Like so. And then I just kind of pull them together. And it's like a handshake that comes together. So I have this length of cordage here, or lashing. We haven't processed this really yet, but just for quick and dirty lashing. This is straight from milkweed. And go ahead and lay this on, lay, lay our bundles out in the ground, and I'll show you how to uh, a good way to bundle these up. All right, I kind of laid the lashing out in sort of an S shape or a Z shape, and this will just be a quick uh, kind of pole lashing technique. I'll show you. So I'm gonna go get the bundles and just wrap them in there, and uh, you'll have to watch because I can't speak much over the din of the traffic.
that up. Through. Take this. Pull this up through. And then pull it up together. together for now, but it could be just a quick and dirty way to last holes and whatnot. 